Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Rudy's video. I'm Dear Rudy, I'm sad. I can only imagine the emails that Rudy is receiving right now. He did sell items and these items are heavy bags. Uh, if his items are heavy bags and he sold these same items, then yeah, the items would be called heavy bags as well. Now, are as they as mo as many as he has? No, but there's still items that are very difficult to sell in this current economy. I can tell you as somebody who has the exact items, I have more items than even the Rudy Chan, most Rudy Chan Lemmings, because the guy I bought from, uh, and then Rudy will know him, he's from New Jersey. He was a Patreon of Rudy's for a very long time at the $100 level, which I didn't even know the $100 level. I thought I was just a $15 level, $100 a month level, wow. It's like how much Amazon costs a year. And Amazon has cheaper boxes than Rudy, by the way. It's on sale right now. As of the recording, Rudy just made another video saying Amazon dump, and they're dumping Strixhaven, Crimson Val again. <laughs> I think every dump, they're dumping Dominaria Collector's Edition for like 140, 150. I think um, uh, New Compenna is like 70 a box, which is really, I mean, it's like, it's less than $2 a pack. Uh, yeah, hello, Mushi Mushi. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy some because that's a lot cheaper than I get from my distributor. I'm paying 90, um, 90 a box for a draft. And they're selling it for like 70 free. That's not even close. That's not even remotely close to what, you know. <laughs> and I have a distributor. So imagine like my, I, I think I'm gonna buy some, open some. I think it would just be a fun, cheap open. Uh, Crimson Vow is like 110. A uh, collector's, it's very interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it's very intriguing. I pay 144 for a collector's edition of both Crimson Vow and Dominator United. Uh, Dominator United, I think is 153. So it's very close to distributor price. Uh, so I'll probably say no to Dominator United, I'll probably say yes to Strixhaven. Um, people are sad because they lost money. They're going to lose their jobs. The economy is really, really bad right now. And I can't really emphasize this enough. I was watching a CNBC or whatever, one of these new channels, and they were interviewing FTX. And the guy was very wealthy and he lost, I think, a half a million dollars in FTX. And he said, you know, for the first time, I have to think about how I spend money. That's how I feel right now. I never really thought about, okay, let's not go to this, let's go to this steakhouse, let me eat some king crab. I, I mean, I think on live stream I showed, I just have like random lobster in my fridge at all times. And I make lobster rolls or just straight up eat it. And same with king crab. I have a freezer outside and it's just full of king crab. And I'm not going to do that anymore. So I've already eaten out the inventory, if you will, and I'm not going to buy anymore because I'm, for the first time since I graduated law school, actually worried. Uh, I think the economy is going to tank. It's not just my opinion. It's you watch anybody on YouTube, Graham Stefan, me, Kevin, you, you watch any, nobody has a positive, oh, the economy will do well. Even Joe Biden, our president, our dear president, thinks that we are going to do very poorly in 2023. He's, he's mentioned that multiple times, publicly. It's going to be savage, my dudes. Um, how can I put this in terms? Businesses will go bankrupt. People are being laid off. The tech industry, so I'm kind of, quote, in tech. We're going to get slaughtered uh, if we're not already slaughtered. Um, it's going to be a tough year. So people are sad because they don't got no money. When you got no money, you're sad, especially if you're not the uh, uber rich, right? The Elon Musk, where you can just buy Twitter and do whatever you want with it. <sighs> I will put it this way. Since I graduated law school, I've never, even with my student loan debt, even my business debt, there was never a night where I didn't sleep well. Because I, there was never a night I, had trouble sleeping because I was worried about my finances. I've had some nightmares recently about finances and I'm in a good place. I'm just worried about the future of the country as well as the economy, as well as my stocks. And I've never seen my stocks take the hit that they have taken recently. 
Um, I have invested in stocks since I was 16. The same, same account, essentially. And I've never seen it lose as much money as quickly as it has. I've never heard of as many scams. Like FTX scam was multiple levels of Bernie Man. And again, I'm in the NFT space. I speak about NFTs all the time to other patent attorneys. I give presentations. So it's surreal when it's rug pull after rug pull after rug pull and you're, you talk about FTX, you talk about crypto, you talk about, you know, I give you an idea of what I do for fun. I give, uh, I speak at these conferences and these conferences are, you know, just all IP attorneys, attorneys, actual attorneys, not paralegals, attorneys. It could be 100, 200, 300, and they're litigation attorneys. I know a lot of you, oh, you don't do litigation. No, my God. No, they're litigation attorneys who are trying to like hear what I'm saying about NFTs. So it's surreal when I when FTX collapses, you know, I've covered that quite a bit on my other channel. I, I just think things are going to shit, man. I, I don't know how else to say it to you. It's not even a panic. It's just like acceptance of 2023, just survive. I don't plan on growing my company. Maybe we hire somebody to help me to live streaming, but that's gotta be profitable within the year. I am very, very worried. And that should concern you too. Because if I'm worried, then what should you be, right? So anyway, my main takeaway is a lot of people are sad, a lot of people are worried, a lot of people are angry. Every single Magic product I bought in 2022, I'm upset that I bought it. That's where I am. It is regretful that I spent that money, which I could have spent buying more Fire Emblem. I could spend that buying more Pokemon. For God's sake, I could have spent it buying more Pokemon. I would have done a lot better in Pokemon. And I, I, you cannot, it is, I'm at a loss for, I'm trying to explain a feeling. And I don't really get many feelings. So it's hard for me to put in more descriptive words. I guess it is, the best way to describe this feeling is dread. I dread 2023. I think a lot of people in technology, they're going to be replaced by AI. I think a lot of changes in society will happen in next year. And most of them negatively will be negative. I think a lot of people will get laid off. I think on mass, you know, Pepsi Cola is laying off people or the fun company, whatever that company is called. The, you know, I'm really in the mood for Frito-Lays or the Frito chips. I don't know why. <laughs> right now, I'll probably go to the uh, ExxonMobil, get some. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty savage.